What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to block PSN updates so that they are not downloaded to your PS4 when you launch games and you know change your date time settings, stuff like that. This is particularly useful if you're on update 1.76 because obviously you'll probably want to stay on that update because it allows you to use the webkit exploit and mod games and run Linux and do all of that stuff and you definitely don't want to be forced to update to the latest uh, firmware. But this will also work of course for any firmware version that you're on on your PS4 that is below uh, the current one that is currently released uh, by Sony. So in order to do this the first thing um, that we need to do is head to settings and then go down to system and then automatic downloads and uploads and make sure these two boxes are unchecked. This will stop updates from being automatically installed uh, but it will not stop um, it will not stop them from being downloaded so uh, the latest update will still be downloaded but it should prevent the update from then being automatically installed once it's downloaded uh, if you have those two boxes unchecked. So make sure you do that first of all. But I have had reports that people, uh, it still tries to install the update sometimes when you um, start a game and it automatically downloads it. So it's still not a foolproof solution just to uncheck those two boxes. So the method that I'm gonna show you guys to block PSN updates is using uh, DNS blocking. So we're gonna block the DNS servers that the PS4 uses uh, to provide you with the update. That's, in my opinion, is probably the best way because um, it works on any PS4, essentially, on any firmware version. So that is what we're going to do. And it will still allow us to, you know, act, use the web browser and, you know, use the internet in general. But it will block the, PS, uh, the PS4 updates. So as an example, if I just launch Ghosts right now, it's going to say update now or update later. If I select update later or I don't even select any option whatsoever, it's still going to automatically start downloading the latest firmware from um, Sony servers. So definitely don't want to, um, we don't want that happening every time. Uh, even if it's just a usance that you have to launch the game and then back out of it and go to notifications and delete the download every single time. Um, we don't want to have to be doing that the whole time. So I'm going to go over to the computer and basically show you guys how you can block uh, the PS4 updates. Okay guys, so here we are over to the computer now. So what you're going to want to do is check the description because these are the uh, DNS server addresses for the PS4 update that will be linked in the video description. Now these may change over time. Um, the DNS servers can change over time and depending on what country you live in, the addresses might be different. So once I've gone over how to actually block these addresses, I'll then show you guys how to find um, the DNS servers for your specific PS4 um, for your region so that um, if these addresses don't work for you, you'll be able to find the actual addresses that your PS4 is using and block those instead. Um, but uh, to begin with, I'll just show you guys how to block these addresses. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. Um, the first way is to uh, basically block them in your router settings. So if you log into your router and your router has some kind of web filter option, so it might be called a, web, a website filter or website blocker or site blocker or DNS blocker, something like that. If you have any of those options in your uh, router settings then all you have to do is go to that uh, setting in your router and enter these addresses as websites that you want to block and then that will prevent the update from being downloaded to your PS4. The other option, not all routers will have a website blocker built into uh, the router settings, particularly if you have a router that you got from your ISP. So when you signed up for your, your internet package, they gave you the router um, for you to use. If you are signed up with one of those, if you have a router that is provided by your ISP, then you, can, you may have a parental controls option. So if you sign into your internet service provider's website, they may have parental controls that you can enable and parental controls will have a website blocker of some kind built in. So mine does, for example, I do not have, my router does not have uh, a website blocker built into it, but 
I can log into my ISP's website and um, enable parental controls and then I can block websites from here. So in my case, I would just take these addresses right here and put them in. Um, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't like the URL unless I put www dot um, at the start. And if that doesn't block it because you have the www dot at the start, then you can try putting in HTTP colon double slash and then paste the address in as well. Um, okay, it says it already exists, but if I do it with the second one as an example, uh, this will work as well using HTTP and then just add each address and add them all in so that they are blocked. And then once you've done that, make sure the parental controls are enabled and then you can just uh, restart your router and it should apply them and those sites will be blocked, which will prevent uh, the PS4 from forcing uh, their updates because they won't be able to connect to their servers. So that's one way that you can do it and that will block it on your whole network, on your whole local area network. So if you're using a wired or a wireless connection, then they'll still be blocked. The updates will still be blocked. Same thing with um, if you did it in your router settings with uh, a site blocker option in your, in your router. But if you don't have parental controls and you don't have a site blocker um, in your router settings, then there is another option. So the other option requires you to be connected to your PC. So your PS4 needs to be wired to your computer. So using a network cable, an ethernet cable, you plug one end, one end of the ethernet cable into your PS4, you plug the other end into your computer, uh, whether that's a desktop or a laptop, it doesn't matter. And then you use wireless on your computer to connect to your router. So, and then you head on your computer, you head to, um, probably control panel would be the best place to start. So head to control panel, head to network and internet and then network and sharing center. And then in the network and sharing center, there is this change adapter settings option. So you go in here and your PS4 should be connected to your local area connection in your computer because that's the network port, uh, the ethernet port on your computer. Uh, that the PS4 is plugged into. So it should be saying unidentified network or it'll say identifying um, as it's trying to detect it. And what you wanna do is you wanna get your wireless connection. So that's the, you know, the wireless connection in your computer that's providing you with the internet. Uh, you want to just right click on that, go to properties, click on sharing, check the box to allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection and select, if there's a drop down uh, box, then you select your local area connection, which is the PS4. Um, if there's not a drop down box, then it doesn't matter. Just make sure this box is checked and click OK. Um, and of course you can also just rename this to PS4 or something to make it a little, a little bit easier. Uh, then make sure that PS4 is selected from the drop down. And that is how you do it. So you're now sharing the computer's internet connection with the PS4. And the advantage of this is that we can basically um, now see and manipulate all the traffic that's going to the PS4 because all the internet traffic that goes to the PS4 has to come through the computer first before it gets to the PS4 because uh, we're sharing the computer's internet connection with the PS4. So that's how this is gonna work. So now that the um, PS4 is connecting through the computer, uh, we can basically redirect all of these DNS addresses and we can redirect those to, um, we can redirect those in the computer's host file uh, to some random address um, so that it doesn't contact PlayStation's actual servers. So here's how we do that. We head into start, we go to computer, we go to local disk C, we go to windows and then system 32. And then in system 32, you want to head down to drivers and then etc and then there's this hosts file and you want to edit that in notepad so you just open up a notepad document a blank notepad document and then just drag the host file into notepad and then right here you can see that um, what this uh, file basically does is it redirects host names or DNS addresses to uh, certain IP addresses so you can redirect any website to a different IP address uh, using this host file. And that's exactly what we're gonna do 
with these addresses right here. So I'm going to copy these addresses and paste them in here. And then I'm just going to copy this address here, this 127.0.0.1. So this is the loopback address on the computer. So it only, um, it doesn't actually go anywhere essentially. So all we have to do is take this address and paste this in, in front of all of these DNS server addresses. And that's basically it. So now what? whenever uh, the PlayStation 4 tries to go to this address right here, it will just redirect to the loopback address on the computer, which will go nowhere, and therefore we will not uh, get any updates. So it will block the updates that way. So if I do File, Save, and that will prevent the updates, basically blocking the updates. But bear in mind with that method, this will only block the updates if you're connected through your computer's connection. If you're not connected through your computer's connection and you just switch your PS4 to wireless instead, then they're not going to be blocked. So anyway, let's go ahead and check that out and see if that's worked. Okay, so we're back on the PS4 now that we and we're connected through the computer's internet connection. Uh, just to note, if you are setting this up for the first time where you're connecting uh, your PS4 through your computer's internet connection, then you need to make sure you go to settings and go to network and make sure when you click set up internet connection you select use a LAN cable and just you know just select easy and go through all the automatic options and test your connection to make sure that it is working but uh, that is what you have to do to make sure you're set up uh, with a wired connection to your computer and now that we've done this and we've redirected all those addresses to our uh, loopback address in the PC if I start ghost now you can see uh, we'll probably have to wait a few seconds because normally the update takes a little while uh, to appear But uh, nothing's happening and if I click update now It's just gonna say it cannot connect to the server because it's you know, it's not reaching the server It's been redirected to the loopback address. So nothing's happening if I head to settings up here and I go to uh, system software update same thing cannot connect to server so we have basically uh, blocked the PS4 updates but our internet browser is still working and we can still access the WebKit playground and all of that obviously this that's only on 1.76 because I have the browser patch installed if you're on another firmware version then the internet browser is not going to work because it requires you to be signed into PSN in order to use it but the point is that the generally the internet still works it's just the PlayStation updates that have been blocked okay so now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to find the DNS addresses in the first place if those addresses that I provided in the description are not working for you. They're not blocking the updates, you're still getting system updates even though you've blocked those DNS server addresses because maybe you're in a different country or or maybe you're watching this a few months in the future or a few or a year or so in the future and the DNS addresses have changed since I made this video then I'm going to show you guys how you can find the exact DNS addresses that your um, PS4 is using and then block those. Okay, so here's how you find your own DNS addresses that the PS4 is using if these ones um, do not work for you. So here's how you do it. First things first, you do need to be connected through your computer's internet connection in order to do this. So basically what we're doing here is we're monitoring the network traffic that's going to the PS4 and we can only really do that if, um, if that network traffic is going through the computer first so that we can monitor it on the computer. So you need to be, uh, you need to have your PS4 connected through your uh, computer's internet connection in order to find these addresses. So what we're going to be doing, what we're going to be using for this is Wireshark Legacy. Um, now I just use the legacy version because I'm more familiar with it, but the download for Wireshark does come with both versions and I will link it in the description as well. The so first things first, I'm going to quickly head back to the host file. Um, so system32 using drivers, etc backslash hosts. So I'm going to head back onto the host file and just delete these now so that the updates are not being blocked anymore so that I can actually see what the addresses are. 
obviously the addresses are going to be the same for me but for you they they'll they might be different so so you want to make sure you select um, the internet adapter that's providing your computer with the internet connection not uh, the ps4 adapter so make sure you select the correct one and then click start and then it will start a packet capture then what you want to do is type in dns into the filter and click apply so we're currently doing a packet capture um, for and we're filtering for DNS so only DNS traffic will appear you might get quite a lot of stuff appearing in here and um, to limit the amount of stuff that appears then you want to make sure your web browser is turned off as you can see there's random stuff I'm getting a motherboard update by the looks of things something on Asus um, so you know you will get DNS traffic appearing in here um, but to limit the amount of traffic so you don't get too much appearing you want to make sure you close off stuff like your web browser, close off any um, cloud storage like uh, Google Drive or Dropbox or OneDrive, close that stuff off, Skype messaging services, stuff like that, Steam, turn all that stuff off just now and then you won't get as many uh, DNS requests coming in. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically just bring up my capture card and bring up, uh, bring up our Wireshark here, our packet capture. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to start a game on the PS4. I'm going to start Ghosts, and then we're going to see what uh, traffic appears when it tries to force us to do the update. So, so let's start Ghosts, and boom. As soon as I pressed X, I've got a bunch of packet data showing up, and we still haven't got the update appearing. There we go, more data from PlayStation. So these are all the addresses appearing now, and I've got the update, so I'm going to quickly switch back to my... PS4 and make sure I delete that before I forget in case it starts installing it once it's downloaded there we go okay so now that we have those addresses I'm just gonna stop uh, the packet capture and we basically have them and that is how you find them right here you can see uh, this is the same address we've got a bunch of addresses here so what I would do is I would just right click copy summary text and then just hop into notepad and this is basically how I how I found them in the first place. Um, I go ahead and just remove this stuff. Remove this. Uh, put this under here. Get rid of this one. Same thing. And just about done. And we now have we now have our addresses to block basically. So that is how I initially found those uh, DNS addresses to block. And as you can see, that that works pretty well. So anyway, guys, I'll head back over to the PS4 and just show you. Um, I'll re-enable parental controls and show you uh, that that also works on wireless. Okay, guys, so that is how you find the actual DNS server addresses. I've turned parental controls back on. And you can see if you do have a website blocker or parental controls, then it is better because you can, of course, uh, switch your connection over to Wi-Fi. So if I switch my connection over to Wi-Fi and I view connection status, you can see internet connection on, Wi-Fi. So I'm using Wi-Fi right now. So um, if I go ahead and just make sure that I can access the internet, there we go. So I'm still able to load pages. But if I try and, of course, do a system update, because I have those parental controls hooked up, uh, on my on my ISP then if I try and uh, oops, the wrong section if I try and go to uh, system software update you can see I just get an error occurred on the server and if you redirect them in your host file then it's just gonna say cannot connect to server at all so there you go that is how you fully block PSN updates so now you can start games and just go update later and you will not have to worry about the update appearing and having to back out and delete it quickly before before it, uh, before it downloads and installs. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like. I really do appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.